sana a, mishmion wisha remain on sunday as a the marana boys band uh, conduct us through the anthem starting with the national anthem followed by the east african anthem james arrego
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the Almighty Name, most gracious, most merciful, we come before you this evening as we have been eagerly waiting for our incoming administration from CIA that they may today present to us their blueprint which they have as their aspiration to fulfill for the great people of this, our county 041. We place them before you. We you bestow upon, after, upon us your being mercy and blessings as we start this meeting. Endeavor us to have your peace during this campaign and on the election day and after. Bi rahmatika ya rahman rahimin. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wassalamu ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much. Our uh, Excellencies, you may sit. May I request uh, the next session we are going to have a sermonette uh, delivered by uh, our very own. For good air and for good order, we request that we either stand at the back or kindly step back so that uh, we have good order. Uh, welcome, Mr. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. And we pray that you be among us even as we share your word as a basis for whatever is going to be unveiled within this place. Guide us by the power of your Holy Spirit, for we pray in Jesus' name. Our guest of honor for the day, my fellow religious leaders, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My name is John Mark, by divine permission, Bishop of the Anglican Church Diocese of Maseno West. And I want to thank the organizers of this day for allowing me and honoring with me with this privilege to lay a foundation for the unveiling of the manifesto of uh, James uh, Oborengo, who is aspiring to be the next governor of this county. I'll share from the text Proverbs chapter 29, verses 18, which says, Where there is no revelation, people cast to restraint. But blessed is the one who heeds wisdom, instruction. Wrote by Solomon, who is associated to have written the Proverbs, having been a king and a ruler in the nation of Israel, he knew that visions come from God. And so whatever we are about to be listening to, I believe it is of God. And if it is of God, then God gives you the impression of that future which you desire. And when you desire that future, it is worthy to walk with God as you go into that future because none of us knows what is in the future, but it's God who can lead you into that future, having given you a revelation of that desired future. The second thing that I want to say is that as you envision a desired future, you also need to know how do I get into that future. And that is laid down in the desired programs, strategies, and how you will get us there. And as you look into how you will get us there, you need divine wisdom. The third thing that I want to talk about as we listen to the unveiling of this manifesto is that after revelation has been given, you have gotten the laid down strategies on how to get there. The third thing is the actual execution of getting to that desired future. And when you are executing a program to get into that desired future, you need people to be with you as you go into that future. For this manifesto that has this going to be laid before us, the questions that I would want to pose to the aspirant and the vision bearer 
is the kind of team that he has. Do you have a team that understands your vision? Do they have the same burden that you have for the county? And in simple terms, are you and your team going to read from the same scripts? So those three things are very key. When you establish a vision, you want to pursue it, and the people with whom you are going to pursue it with are very key. As I conclude, I would want to bring in a story that was told of a man, an African minister, how I pray that that noise stops. Hello, those of you giving down those programs, can you stop it? I finish what I have to do and then you do it after I'm done. A story is told of an African leader who went to visit a fellow leader in a developed country. And as they were sitting in a very beautiful house, they were able to see a six-lane highway as they sat in the balcony and enjoyed their story. And this African asked the friend he went to visit how the house was built. And they talked about the house. He also asked how the highway was built. They talked about the highway. Then he got an idea when he was told that the house where we are enjoying our moment now is 0.005% of that highway. He came back with an idea. And when he came back with an idea, he also had a vision of a similar highway. And when he made a proposal, it was proved and then given the funds to go and build a similar highway. And remembering that he sat in a house which was 0.005% of a highway, he decided to do the same and follow it. When he invited his friend over, and then they were now talking, and he was enjoying the comfort of a very beautiful house, but there was no highway. Praise the Lord. So there are moments when you can have a vision, and the vision bearer does not know the people with whom he is pursuing the vision. You may end up with very beautiful ideas, very beautiful what we have done. How I pray to get people that will be able to pursue with you the same vision. So may the Lord bless us as we listen to you and then this manifestation. Know that it is divinely revealed, strategy laid after God's own instruction and the people God will give you around to help you pursue the same. Finally and lastly, if you are pursuing or aspiring to a position in China, he would ask you that question. Do you feel inwardly moved to do this? That is the question we ask. How I pray that you be inwardly moved. And when you are inwardly moved, that divine conviction will remain as you leave this country. May the Lord bless us all as we uh, move on in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, Bishop, for that purple sermon, aptly delivered. At this point, uh, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to invite our host, uh, VC. Uh, Professor Stephen Agong to give us uh, opening remarks and to welcome us to the institution.
is that your excellencies this is a knowledge institution in CIR, the biggest that we have in CIR, and the first of its kind in CIR. And as a knowledge institution, we commit to work with the county government of CIR to ensure that the knowledge economy thrives in CIR. And this partnership that is uh, starting today will go a long way to develop the young people in CIR the disadvantage in CIR in terms of access to university education as well as the elderly that would want to aspire to increase their knowledge uh, in various disciplines and centers. Uh, I want to take this earliest opportunity to congratulate you sir for uh, coming all the way to um, And I want to assure you, as a center of excellence in food security and blue economy in this particular region, we we'll work closely with your leadership to ensure that the people of CIR benefit a great deal in terms of food security as well as utilization of the vast lake that is just in our neighborhood. As we uh, launch this particular uh, manifesto, sir, we have just completed um, a research hub at the lake side called Meander Hub, which is going to bring international scientists into this particular institution and in this particular county. With this in mind, CIA is going not only to be a local institution in terms of knowledge uh, economy, but a global uh, attraction for the global economy. I want to wish you well uh, in your journey to the governorship together with the entire leadership that is coming on board and here we have got quite a number of people. This university is named after none other than Jaramogi Okingo Dinga University of Science after Jaramogi Okingo Dinga, the first vice president of this country. And for that reason, we would want to uphold the vision that the first vice president had for this country in terms of justice, equality and unity and indeed we see these parameters well embedded in your leadership sir. May God bless you and feel most welcome. Thank you so much. Once again thank you uh, Professor Gong. One for allowing us uh, to the facility and uh, secondly for finding time to join us. Uh, we will shortly have a brief uh, piece of entertainment from County Government of Sierra where uh, while that goes on, allow me to acknowledge uh, the presence of uh, dignitaries in the house, uh, led by our guest of honor of the day, uh, Senior Council James Agrirego, who will shortly uh, lay to the people of Sierra his mission for the county, uh, together with his deputy, William Duan. As I mentioned earlier, with us is also the incoming First Lady, uh, Madam Betty Urengo, in the house. We welcome you, Madam, and appreciate you. We acknowledge the presence of our sitting governor, uh, His Excellency Corel Asanga. We acknowledge the presence of ODM National Chairman, Mishikwa John Mani. We acknowledge the presence of our Senator, uh, incoming Senator, uh, Dr. Uru Odinga. We acknowledge the presence of uh, our sitting Deputy Governor, uh, Mishikwa Okumbe. Uh, we acknowledge the presence of uh, several MCS, uh, led by the Speaker, uh, Mishikwa John Okumbe. Uh, we have our Members of Parliament, which is a piece of entertainment as we progress.
operation. Uh, William Odoli has been a public servant, so he has uh, experience of public service, uh, having sat on the board of Lake Victoria South uh, Development Agency, which is a parastatal under the Ministry of Water. Uh, again, William Odoli is a, a, a chartered accountant by profession and a certified uh, secretary. William Odoli is also a community leader uh, who has founded and is the current chairman of Dengue Community Outreach Program, a CBO that deals with sustainable livelihoods uh, within Sierra County. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the leadership that we present uh, in this manifesto. How did we identify the problem? Uh, the Governor James Orengo commissioned a detailed and elaborate scientific uh, survey to establish the knowledge, attitude uh, and perception of the citizens of Sierra on the prevailing socio-economic uh, and political issues uh, in, in the environment that you are so that you could craft a people-centric uh, agenda. So, uh, separately, he has held over 50 sector-specific uh, listening forums across the county uh, where he was able to listen to the voices of the people uh, and so uh, get their problems. Uh, of course, this pro these forums were held in various uh, uh, social hubs in the county, uh, including uh, towns, villages and market centers. So now, uh, we want to share with you some of the sectors that uh, were engaged, that voices, uh, that their voices went to this manifesto. We talked to the community health workers, we talked to transport operators, uh, we talked to different professional groups, some of whom are represented here today. Uh, we talked to the clergy, the governor listened to formal and informal business uh, sectors, casual laborers who have listened to, uh, university and college students uh, uh, got opportunity to share with the governor uh, their concerns, together with farmer groups, fishing community, uh, as well as opinion shapers, including political leaders. Some of the problems uh, that the people of Sierra share uh, with their governor candidate included issues of access to sufficient clean and potable water uh, within acceptable distances. Uh, the people of Sierra were concerned about issues of roads, access roads, and other infrastructural development. The people of Sierra are concerned about issues of bursary, uh, issues of youth unemployment, issues of uh, inadequate agricultural support, uh, issues of uh, challenges to do with access to affordable and efficient healthcare. Welcome to Bono to talk on behalf of 
the transport community, as well as Mpuku. We are giving two minutes each because of our pressure of time. Kindly. God is good. And all the time. Okay, I just want to be short and precise uh, to our Excellency, the, the sitting, the coming one, and uh, our Governor Rasanga, and also to our Chair, ODM Chair, and also the ASIMIO Chair. I really welcome you to, to CIA. All protocol observed. I'm Margaret Shadiyama Okech. I represent CIA County people with disability in the ODM coordinator. I'm the coordinator. And I also sit here representing ASIMIO presidential campaign. Cam campaign. I'm representing persons with disability. What I want to say is, as people with disability, I am really happy to see that James Serengo is our incoming governor because he's a legislator and also he's a senior counsel. I've shared with him on issues of disability. I didn't know he knew much of the Disability Act, but I was really shocked to find that he really knows Disability Act. And to my persons with disability, I really urge you, we follow Agri Orego. He's the way to go. He's going to address most of our issues. We have the pending disability league. I urge the incoming governor to make sure the legislatures in the county assembly pass the disability bill, which has always been pending. That is our dream. And the disability bill has everything. It has captured everything. I don't wish to say much, but I urge our members of the public, the people of CIA, Baba is going for this race. He need our votes. Let's take people with disability in our various areas so that they can vote to Baba. And also, let's champion. We make sure our rainbow makes it to parliament and become our our senator, our incoming senator. I don't have much to say. Oh, our incoming governor. I don't have much to say. And just people with disability know that you're going to have some time with the governor. Thank you. My colleague, Georgia Tomonade. As Georgia goes to sit, Berenka Ajoga. Ajoga is the chairman of Boda Boda sector in Bono to give us a few. Uh, Slipers from the sector. Uh, two minutes, please. Two minutes. Okay. Oh, abro kau thulu marbe kamarane di thulu. Ano kabro yako kusuko mangen pa niya kupay. Ami niya kamarane kita tala. Oh, wach kuku ang abro koyo kamarane niya sa mga sumisiyan. Kino abro niyso o di thulu ay siwa niya para boda sa dikor. Wan niya ka nesiso. Masia ya kino bono ka kaka ana tayo masia ne bono kaka ya kom bar bono sa county ba bono bono paritas union kino abro ba chuni ikiyeti wasi tumate bono make sure di James Boba Kiorengo ubed kavana baki kino wange ni one bed kaka wasi tumate ni one 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 bed ni one bed involved in this government of James Orengo kino wasa bono our president becoming president. Mr. Aila Monodinga on Team Marimar ODM. One more time, Mr. Mikiko. One more time, ODM. Very soon, very soon, next year, we want to make sure that we have a clear declaration. Mark Sherwaka. If you want to know what you want, you want to be the presentation of Marwa, Kaka Yosiaka, the Boda Boda sector, you want to be the presentation. We want to be the presentation of ACIA, the government, the government. What do I want to do? Mondo, oh, one day we'll be campaigning. Mondo, we teach them how to make them more quiet. Oh, Kati Muka, one day we're going to have to pretend as if they're more quiet. Oh, the one day we're going to have to do do. Kai, we are going to have to do more biroka. We are going to do more. Man, we're going to have to do more. Man, we're going to have to do more. Security, we're going to have to do more. 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 Watu wa nimo nubitu wa mbunobi security mabondo ka kachia misikia tayasia mbunobi ni mabaya ni ma strong mbunobi ni wa wii wa 
Elas, Ma James, Oba Kiyore, Ogolo, Ma Nisoni, Ibro Konsida, Olo Rene, Kiki Security. What are the people doing? Mogi Kwawa, Cho, Enini, Kawa Na Ma Rasanga, Wewa, Kawa No Kweji Woki, Nikechi No Konsida, What are the people doing? Kiyore, Kapo Oni Ma Otebre, To Wari Mene Kiki Kudu Woji Woki, And Rest Otherwise, Nini Ma Yomu Mo.
honorable guests, chief guest of the day, our honorable guests, uh, MPs, bishops in the house, good afternoon. Um, my name is Aros Warega, ODM Women Leaders Care County. I'm standing here to represent the women of Siaya. Allow me to recognize the women leadership in the house. The women leaders in the house just be up standing. I know we have the ODM, we have Mendele, we are on our way. Please let's get up and, and wave. Yes, so as the women of Siaya, we are here to confirm to you our support as women. And we are also here to register before you the ask for women in your leadership when you get into this leadership. I want also to assure the women that uh, I have sat with Honorable Orengo at his home to start pushing a little the ask for women and he was willing to listen and he listened. But allow me to repeat again the women ask in your leadership. Number one, the women are asking to be on the decision making table and that is when you are making your boards. We have qualified and very competent women that are able to sit in those boards. When we look at your manifesto, dear to our hearts as women, uh, the food security, the water, health, and youth and women empowerment. In Sierra, we still have places where women are walking a long distance to get water. And uh, as we know, we have had in Sierra issues of sexual harassment, rape. Some of our girls get caught up when they go to fetch water late in those long distances. So we would really want you to set a desk that will be led by women to handle the women issues and also the empowerment and mentorship of young girls at every ward and every constituency. And what we are saying again, that as you set your cabinet, the women are keen and watching the positions in the ministries that will deal with health, uh, the ministries that are dealing with water, the ministry that is going to deal with social protection, and the ministry that is going to handle education. The women need also skills to be empowered. Even the married, the young married women are still willing to go back and get skills that will make them provide food for their households. Otherwise, we are thankful. We are here committing ourselves to support you as our incoming governor, as we know that ODM and our say as women, we are saying ODM, six piece, six piece, six thousand, six thousand, Baba Gidoge. That is what the women are preaching. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Rose, for properly elucidating the position and voice of women of Sierra County. Uh, Your Excellencies, allow me as we move towards uh, inviting themselves uh, to like to invite uh, a voice representing various professional groups in the county. And uh, I will invite William Robert, who is the chairman of COPET, uh, to speak briefly on behalf of the teachers and the entire professional uh, fraternity. Thank you very much, uh, Walter. Because you have given us two minutes, two minutes is 120 seconds. Allow me to give my boss 90 seconds and then I'll finish up in 30 seconds. Welcome, Brother Samuel. Thank you, Chairman. Your Excellency, the Sitting Governor, the National Chairman of ODM, it is my pleasure to see you today, one on one, to our incoming Governor, Wakili Nelsbob Agra Orengo, to our political leadership, to my Honorable Member of Parliament, Moshinua Samuel Atani, and all the dignified people that are here this afternoon, Hamdiamo. Hamdiamo Tena. Bwana Yesu wa Sifiwe. Tusalimiane kwa hewa Bwana Yesu wa Sifiwe. Siku hii ni siku ya furaha tusiwe na uzuni Bwana Yesu wa Sifiwe. We are here as Kupet. My name is Sam Okondo, Executive Secretary Kupet Sierra County. 
my chairman is Robert Uko. We have a team, Just a Rise and Wave. My team from Cooper, Just a Rise and Wave. We also have our team from the Kenya National Union of Teachers. I'm aware the Secretary General is here. I believe he's going to handle that bit of the protocol. Dignified people, we do not want to take a lot of time. This is not our day. I just want to take this opportunity to thank very much the outgoing governor for having stood with us for the over 10, for the 10 years that you are in office. I say thank you very much, Governor, we salute you. To our incoming governor, Wakili James Bob Agri Orengo, it is my prayer that you are also going to stand with us as the outgoing governor did do. But I want to thank you, Your Excellency incoming governor, Mushimio Bob Agri Orengo. When we did have a forum with you, there are areas that we pointed out to you, and I see them very ably captured in your manifesto. It is not my duty to preempt your manifesto, but we did talk to you about persons with disability, I've seen it here. We did talk to you about capacity building, I've seen it here. We did talk to you about bursary scheme, I've seen it here. We did talk to you about improved physical infrastructure in education centers, I've seen it here. I want to say to you, kudos, we are together, we will support you. One Kaka Jokupet, Jokwet Masiaya, one Wakia Piko Baba, one Piko S6 Peace, and one Go Chairman. Thank you very much, my boss, the Executive Secretary. As you had said, my name is Robert Tuko. I teach at Ramba Boys High School and also the Chairman of Kupet in Tia County. Kupet is a union of teachers and we are working hand in hand with the county government, uh, with the outgoing governor and we already started working with the incoming governor, James Orengo. As teachers, we have made a commitment that we are going to help you take this thing on 9th of August. That is our commitment. Your commitment is to make sure that quality education is provided within Sia County. That was our request to you. And in your manifesto, which we don't want to preempt, is having it. But ODM, 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 Asante Nisan. Thank you very much, uh, Robert and William Sam. Your Excellencies, as we move towards finishing, allow me to briefly uh, invite Mr. Alex Nunga uh, to start his presentation.
the religious groups, uh, the CHWs, uh, and many other groups who are listening to the religious forums. Uh, but because of time, we may not uh, give each of them opportunity. Governance. Uh, Bonnie, take it up. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly uh, keep your eyes on the screens as we see a short video. Okay, uh, just play it. Thank you very much. 
much, uh, Bonnie Bingham and with that, uh, Excellencies. May I introduce a brief interlude uh, of entertainment as we prepare uh, to invite our incoming Deputy Governor, uh, Honorable William Gwon, to make his remarks and thereafter invite uh, the Governor to talk to us and unveil the manifesto. <coughs> Senator Gurujika, uh, ODM Chairman, 
seeks to secure our county's uh, destiny by leveraging on the existing assets, addressing the constraints, and defining the key steps we intend to initiate in order to realize our shared vision of a transformed and prosperous airport. It shall be our guiding light, together with other documents like the CIDP that was mentioned earlier, and we shall use all these documents in achieving our collective aspirations as the people of Seattle. A manifesto can be quite lofty, high sounding, and full of imagination. But it is uh, the spirit that drives our quest for better leadership in this government that shall breathe life into the document. As the James O'Reilly of William and World team, we are promising you right here, right now, just as we have done on the campaign trail, to hold ourselves to higher standards of integrity. So like Caesar's wife, we commit to be above reproach in our engagement at the county level. This manifesto, therefore, is a strategic plan that defines the roadmap that we will pursue during our time in office. Food security and agribusiness. First in our list of priorities is food security. With the rivers, uh, Yala, Zoya, and Victoria, it's possible. We, the Nyaloretim, believe it is just a matter of time before Seattle becomes food sufficient. We will work hard to ensure that we reclaim and put into productive agricultural use some of the idle community land and some of the public uh, land that's uh, currently not in use. We intend to reclaim a uh, portion of uh, Yellow's uh, swamp so that we can make uh, Sierra County uh, the bread, bread basket of uh, this region. We also intend to make Sierra County a net exporter of agricultural produce. We will incentivize farmers by subsidizing farm inputs like fertilizer certified seeds, feeds, and pesticides to maximize our yields. We intend to expand and improve agricultural extension services to boards with direct agricultural uh, champions in each village. We will uh, liaise with uh, research institutions and develop crop varieties that can withstand uh, the same climate. We've also looked at um, the budget estimates for fiscal year 2022-2023 that His Excellency uh, Governor Rosario has uh, prepared. And um, just like was mentioned earlier, our manifesto is actually anchored on uh, uh, some of those uh, budget estimates. And in this uh, year's uh, budget estimates, uh, there has been an, uh, there is an allocation of some 500 odd uh, million uh, shillings that will go towards that particular uh, 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 priority area. On water and water resources, the people of Siaya uh, deserve as a constitutional right access to clean and safe drinking water. Our priority as county government will be to map out all water resources, such as our lakes, our rivers, our downs, and our bubbles. So we want to map them so that we know where they are. Those that we need to dredge, we will dredge. Those that uh, need desiltation, we shall uh, 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 desilt. We shall also, as county government, ensure that water management bodies like Sikuwasu are properly managed and sufficiently capacitated so that they provide timely and reliable services while also creating an enabling environment for private water service providers such as uh, Isoko and uh, Enua. We intend to incentivize private water service providers uh, 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 by way of providing uh, 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 leeways and concessions uh, where you 
trips and uh, concessions. We shall revive all community water schemes that are very bad uh, so that uh, across the county. And some of the examples of uh, Moriban water projects is the uh, water supply uh, in Kodagulu uh, that we intend to uh, revive. We will modernize uh, piers. We have uh, the Gwanda Kutielu pier. Uh, we also have the Asebu Bay pier. So we will uh, modernize some of those piers to encourage inter-county trade between Kisumu, Kuma Bay, and Kusia. On uh, health and uh, on health, on health and uh, sanitation, we are deeply persuaded that a healthy population is a wealthy population. Our approach shall be to invest uh, in disease uh, preventive measures while also addressing uh, the quality and accessibility of uh, curative uh, services. The key goals to us is actually include improving life expectancy, improving the quality of life by reducing the average time spent in illnesses, and finally improving social risks protection coverage. James Orengo and, and Nyalori team shall ensure availability of supplies, uh, both pharmaceutical and non-pharmaceutical. So we shall ensure availability of uh, medicine in our hospitals, health centers across the county. We, through Baba Care, we also intend to implement a universal health coverage across the county. We will address an unacceptability, an uh, unacceptably high uh, maternal and child health uh, 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 deaths in Sierra. We will uh, we would like to also modernize uh, Sierra County Referral uh, uh, Hospital and upgrade it to a level 5 medical uh, facility. The community health workers uh, here in the room and those that are probably watching us, we will, of course, using accepted uh, legislation, uh, try and mainstream the community health workers by improving on their uh, terms of service. We will uh, also try and uh, continue with the good work that uh, Governor Rasaga uh, has uh, been doing around ensuring that uh, they are covered uh, by with NHIF, uh, given NHIF cover. We will uh, establish and maintain uh, globally, properly build uh, child care, nurturing uh, uh, care centers to promote quality of care for newborns and infants. On roads and physical infrastructure, we believe that good infrastructure is key to economic uh, development. For our farmers to get their goods to market some time, our children to get to school, for safe and clean piped water, and electricity to get to houses, is critical need for infrastructure. We intend as county government to lobby national governments to urgently repair some of our major roads. Uh, an example is the Luanda uh, Sierra Road, among others. Of course, it's not the responsibility of county government, but we shall uh, uh, endeavor to lobby national government to help with the repair of those roads. We will also expand the road network to cover all parts of the county with both Maram and Beauty Men uh, class roads. We, as part of uh, ensuring that there is uh, trade across uh, the county, we will uh, construct uh, three area strips, uh, Kaluo, uh, Sega, and Bondo to facilitate trade and tourism. I am aware that uh, it's a 50 million. It's a 50 million uh, location uh, already made for uh, Kaluo ASU. And of course, Baba is going to be president from the 9th of August. So we want to make sure that uh, the three ASU are operational over the uh, five-year period uh, that we shall be in office. I also want to emphasize that this is a five-year.
idea manifesto. It's uh, not uh, something that we are going to do overnight. It's, it's a five-year uh, manifesto. We shall own infrastructure. We shall avail free internet access in select uh, trading centers to support trade and information access. We will also reconceptualize and implement urban planning in Siam, in Kondo, in Niala to support healthy living. We intend to deploy modern and appropriate solid waste and water waste management uh, systems. On youth and women empowerment, I think uh, this is something that Mrs. Warega also alluded to when she stood up here. We are keen on creating an enabling environment for every willing and industrious uh, Kenya to become a producer of goods and services. In order to remove barriers to economic productivity and uh, prosperity among the youth, women and people living with disability, we shall, number one, conduct civic education, uh, targeting the youth and women with messages on their rights and opportunities. Uh, we have the 30% uh, uh, tender requirement for youth that uh, we promise you that uh, we are going to uh, implement when you elect us. We will give incentives to youth and women to enable them to finance uh, personal or group businesses. We will organize border board operators into cooperatives. We will create an endowment fund which we will avail as seed capital to organize youth and women groups in Sierra County aimed at enhancing the poor uh, borrowing culture in Roland. So the youth and the women, we intend to uh, uh, provide seed capital. And lastly, uh, the student leader alluded to this, we intend to open up a youth affairs office in the governance office. That should uh, take care of your interests. On job, <laughs> on job creation and resource mobilization, I just want to talk about some snippets here because of time. Uh, beyond the equitable share, I know that Sierra County, uh, the last fiscal year, uh, collected about 450 million. And uh, the budget estimates for this fiscal year, they're looking at collecting uh, 500 million. Uh, what we intend to do, number one, is to create a private uh, special purpose vehicle called CIA Development Authority. A vehicle that we are going to use to attract foreign direct investment, a vehicle that we are going to use to uh, attract diaspora money, a vehicle that we are going to use to uh, get into public private uh, partnerships. So we will diligently, diligently pursue and attract direct foreign and uh, diaspora investment to their account. We will uh, provide training on business and financial management skills. And we will also come up with attractive investor packages and incentives, including uh, land identification and assignment for purposes of uh, investments, especially when you look at uh, Rarieda, uh, very good uh, land for hospitality and horticulture. If you look at Bond, already has a comparative advantage when it comes to education. And if you look at Yala, good commercial uh, hub because of the railway network that passes through uh, Yala. On education, education is one of the key pillars identified in the Lake Region Blueprint. So we will equip ECDs, I remember somebody mentioning here, uh, we shall equip ECDs, we shall ensure that we also hire uh, ECD teachers, I know that Governor Rasanga has done a fairly excellent job in uh, putting up many ECDs from about 38 when he came to over 700 uh, ECDs. We will equip our vocational training centers with appropriate infrastructure. On uh, tourism, culture and sports, we will market our key tourist attraction sites like Rwanda Gutiano, on 
governance and public uh, participation, we shall uh, protect, implement and defend the constitution in spirit and in letter. And we will uh, partner with social, civil society to sensitize the general public on their rights and privileges. These, uh, ladies and gentlemen, are only highlights of the detailed proposal contained in our manifesto that we are launching today. And I encourage you to grab a copy. I believe you already have copies. Uh, afterwards, and dissect and read it in, in its entirety. Um, I want to say something very briefly in uh, Luo. So, for purposes of our viewers that are probably watching us and uh, they not understand what I said. Kabuo no wayango alanda ni wa keto manifesto maru wa mbele. Wani kodi manifesto wani iso uganda wa ma julwo onani josiaya kakawa de loko ngima u. Iweche mege kelo pi Iweche mege food security yego marpe Iweche mege mine mega bedo Odrowe ire wa ni keto nusi kapito Kone utimo hele kweli Joboda boda Beach management units, your official folks, which are making security, making now, which are making bursaries, my Nintendo, one need this someone get to work get to bursaries, Nintendo Mundus. For all of you, you see a county, Nintendo Kochi, the Maraboro, Yerwa, James Boba, you're a good William Mundua, Mondo Lokoro, one watch you looking, Mondua, Neno Tibrama Bear, Eno Kaman. So it is now my uh, singular duty and uh, uh, profound privilege to welcome the incoming governor, James Bob Agri Orengo. Governor Karebo.
Senator Dr. Uhuru Mogenga, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Western Masters, my colleagues, Honorable Chanda, Honorable Tandi, Honorable Tienda Molo, Honorable Elisha Kuba, Honorable uh, Dr. Christina Mbaka, Honorable Dr. Diabo from uh, Uganda, and the Secretary General of NAT, Mr. Collins Oyu. And on this side, I'm privileged to note the presence of uh, William Oduo, who is my running mate, the Deputy Governor, the Speaker of uh, Sia County Assembly, and all the guests who have come on this very important occasion. I want to be very brief because I think uh, Honorable William Oduo has taken time to highlight the manifesto. I don't want this to be a repetition. But allow me just to introduce my better half, who has been with me all along. <laughs> Betty, can you just stand up for recognition and look at the audience? I also want to introduce uh, some of my children who are here. They are not all here. There's Michael Orengo, he's sitting behind his mother. And uh, this little girl I named after my mother at the end of the day, that is Zeni Orengo. Now, this is a momentous occasion for me. And I want to thank everybody who has been with me on this journey. And this journey did not start today. I think if I can say when this journey started, I think it started when I was a student, uh, particularly at the university when I was driven by concerns about the people and the interests of the people and issues of justice and fairness and prosperity. So today, as we lay this manifesto, you have been part of the journey. You have been part of the journey. And I will highlight only the things that I think are broad and that I can mention on this auspicious occasion. One, I think governments go wrong. Governments go wrong when there's no good governance. And what I want to promise the people of CIA is the, the, the fundamental point that is going to guide the county government of CIA when we take leadership is to assure people of CIA good governance. I can tell you in many countries where there has been success, it's not because of resources. If you go to Singapore, it's a small island. If you go to Malaysia, it's not a big country. If you go to all the countries which are now called the Asian Tigers, including uh, South Korea, the most fundamental point is about assuring the people of good governance. That's why in our constitution, there are ideas of transparency and accountability, free of corruption. I think if we start there, if we start there, I think we are going to put here on the road to success and transformation. If you look at Sierra, I think we've got a good land. It's arable land. I don't think we have a desert in land in Sierra. We've got water bodies, the biggest part of the lake. We've got two of the biggest rivers in this region, feeding not only people along the, the, the Nile, but up to Egypt, the shores of, of the Mediterranean. But if you look at Sierra, Today, we don't have a single factory, not even one, not even one that we can talk about. If you look at CIA, we don't have a, a single 
create an enabling environment for investments to be made in CIA. And I say and I repeat, the starting point is good governance. To our Secondly, secondly, we must attract investment that are going to uh, in, uh, put people to work. Investment that can be put people to work. And we are lucky in a way that the first, for the first time we are going to have a president on whom we can leverage on looking at the manifesto, the nine type on agenda of Azimil, and the commitment to building infrastructure. CIA, if we can build infrastructure to make sure that every part of this county is accessible, we can attract more investment. With the kind of infrastructure we have now, it is impossible to have proper investments. We cannot have uh, Mexia an investment destination. Tourism without proper infrastructure, it, it cannot work. So I think infrastructure is going to be very important. And although the national government has taken part of the responsibility, we should go, should go to the county government. We intend to try and do all that is possible and uh, hoping that money is going to be the national government. We want to leverage with you because political power is about resources. If money can be the national government and there are no resources coming to this region, here is nobody going So we must work there to leverage on the coming government of Raila Odinga so that we can address issues of investment and infrastructure. And I think that is really key and fundamental. Water and sanitation and health, those are key sectors. And sometimes when you go around you listen to local people. The things they tell you hit you so hard. We tell our stories in many words, but just the other day when I was somewhere in game, there's a Mze um, who told me that sometimes when he travels to Seattle, and that is the capital city of the Seattle County, he does not know whether he has arrived or whether, whether he has gone past Seattle. <laughs> there's nothing to show that you're going through the capital of a county where the president is going to come from. So we have got a very big job to do to turn around CIA and to make sure that CIA is special in the other county. <laughs> and I know it can be done. It can be done. We, can, we have seen counties where it can be done. And I thank Governor Osaka for the foundation is laid. But that foundation must provide us the means with which we can kick start the economy of Sierra as, as a region. I also want to assure you that we are going to appoint competent people. I don't want somebody who is coming to me, give me a job. The primary principle would be, are you competent? Do you have the credentials? So, when you appoint anybody in the CIA government in order to get results, we must have a transparent process of hiring people who are going to work with the CIA people. If you are going to be a, a member of the county executive committee, you must have the skills and you must be able to uh, provide leadership in that portfolio uh, so that we can see the results of the people of CIA. But I also want to promise that in the county executive committee, I want to see youth and women in that county executive committee. You know, there is a British Prime Minister, the Pitt, the young William Pitt. He became the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. In fact, the office of the Prime Minister has grown in 
the United Kingdom in England was built up and transformed during the time of William Pitt. After he left Oxford, he became a prime minister at the age of 23, age of 23, and ruled England for more than 25 years, if my history is correct. So there are a lot of young people out there who can provide leadership and have good management skills, and sometimes we don't even consider them because we think they're incompetent. So, I am prepared to have anybody, somebody from Jaramogi Ogigodika University <laughs> to sit in the cabinet and say, I, if you can show me that he has the uh, competence. I want to see women in leadership in CIA. Because Raila Amodo Odinga has set the pace. Even climbing the mountain, when the men could not help Raila to climb the mountain. A lady who is a fighter, Mata Karoa, has done wonders. So I think there are many Mata Karoas in CIA. Many more Mata Karoas in CIA who must transcend uh, and be put in positions of leadership so they can make CIA great as, as it should. I also want to say, I also want to say this, that leadership, leadership is a responsibility. It does not come easy. And leadership when it comes like a, a game in the casino, it cannot work in any modern nation. And, and this is something that I continue to regret about Kenya because you know the kind of leadership sometimes this is emerging in Kenya does not reflect what Kenya should be. I mean, in this region, we had the Argo Skodek at a very young age, uh, Tom Boyer, Jeremy Ogodinga, they were the intellectuals at that time. And a nation that provide, I mean, elect leaders because they make leadership look like uh, some kind of uh, drama or sarcasm is going to bring us down as a nation. It's going to bring us down as a nation. The quality of leadership is important. When you send people to parliament or the county assembly, you must elect people with qualities of leadership and who are going to account for their needs for the benefit of the people. And I promise that if I occupy the office of the governor, like I think I'm going to, forget about the fake walls, forget about what people are talking about CIA. There are some people who are saying that Orengo has come back because the race has become too hard. I've been in many races, and I think this one is one of the easiest races to fight. <laughs> I want to assure you, I want to assure you, even the naysayers, the skeptics, no, the, the people don't believe that we can do it. But we are going to do it for the sake of Sierra, the county, and also the part of Baba's team. Because Raila Amolo Liga is not with the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. I think this, for me, is a proud moment when I can witness an occasion where the person who is becoming president, we will fought beggar for beggar in the trenches. And the vice president is also somebody who has fought for social justice. And if ever there will be transformation in this country, this is the time. And if CIA is ready for it, we are going to reap harvest uh, profound from the incoming government of, Seattle, of, of the Republic of Kenya. I, I think I've, I've said enough, and uh, I want again to conclude by thanking Governor Osaka. Today, I apologize, we came a little late because we were going around. Governor Osaka is doing something which I commend him for. He's saying thank you to the people.
of Sierra. I also want to thank my colleagues who are in Parliament particularly and congratulate them for winning the nominations and we are walking this journey together. That's why they are all here. That's why they are all here and I hope they return to Parliament and fight for Sierra. I want to be grateful to the National Chairman of ODM. Uh, you are coming here should send a signal that the party is very worried about or concerned about who is going to be elected in Sierra. The party wants an ODM government in Sierra. An ODM government in Sierra cannot be replaced by a government of another party whose history, whose ideology is unknown to you. And I invite you to read the UNDM manifesto and the UDM constitution. The interests they serve are not interests that you can associate with people from this region. It's a narrow interest. When that party was uh, uh, having its national conference, we were there. And they said it is a party for special interests, and nothing is wrong with that. For pastoralists, they said their objectives and ideology is around pastoralism. I don't criticize that. But I do not know how one would join a party like that and leave a party like ODM, which has got history, has got a social democratic agenda, and has a leader who is a patriot and who is going to make this country strive ahead in terms of progress. So I, I, I think it is significant that uh, Mr. Ban is here and I, I'm sure you're going to make a speech. I got here going to do a Untie. Untie. Untie.
have to thank you, those people who elected me to the office. Eating a home, you know, is very difficult. Yeah? When I started eating that home, there were a lot of problems. But now, now as they are coming in, things are not as bad. And we, I wish them well for the next 10 years so that they also live here at a certain level. Sateri Sana. Yeah, and I think Your Excellency, uh, as the first governor of CIA, isn't it? And I think I will leave you that title to go with. And I go back home on the eighth. Once you have already gotten it, yeah, then I will be Your Excellency also, but. Structures in place. 
You must determine which are the structures which can deliver services. Then you staff, meaning you bring people to match the structures. And that is what Jim has talked about here. And then after that is when now you move forward to leadership. You must provide leadership. And that has no doubt that we have two gentlemen here who are capable of providing that leadership. Jim has the experience of public service. Jim has the experience of knowing what is good for the people of Kenya because he has worked hard and fought for so many years for the civil rights and democracy. Jim has the experience of legislature. You people of CIA, when you talk about Jim negatively, I wonder what you people are talking about. Because if it were not for him, we would not have the devolution we have today. Ask me, and of the world. It's only the three of us in this house who are in parliament when we are bringing the current constitution, which has anchored devolution as cardinal principle of governance in this country. So Jim is the one we sent to Naivasha to bring us devolution. He crafted it. He understands it. He can nurture it. He can implement it. You've got the right person. <laughs> you have an accountant here. As accountants are very diligent, we are managers by excellence. If you want success, get accountant near me. I'm not telling you to see what Obaraja is doing. And by the way, Governor, that is not to really demean you. I know you have done a great job. In fact, your first time you spent a half of it in court. And even the second time, you have competed, competed with the girl who didn't, didn't want to let, let you rest. He took you all the way to court. I hope we are not going to pay that price. Someone will not take it to court. <laughs> this is a good ticket. Look at Kakamega. There is an accountant there. Look at what happened in Wajia in the first time. They removed an accountant, now they are crying. They want to back. So, Odul Dengue, we were taught in accounting school not to steal. I hear people saying accountants steal. Those who are not rogue accountants. Accountants are not supposed to steal. Please make sure you give the people of CIA services. <laughs> and I have told you, I have no doubt that Jim will deliver. If there is no seat that ODM cannot afford to lose, it is the governor of Sierra County. Let me tell you. Can joke, we can joke with any seat, but not the governor of Sierra. There is no way Raina Mono Dinga will be the president and set out, and when he comes the back the home here, that his governor is from another party.
kanya zayo kwa wanyana ya national government to ugo kura ni ngato na wakabu utama na mara ila kituwa ni pesa wakadesi ya
rarely commit to themselves what they are going to do. Normally, people say, once my party has produced a manifesto, should I produce another manifesto? I will use my party's manifesto. But to make a man manifesto which commits you to implement certain things means you are very, very serious about your intention for this end. And I know you are. Secondly, most manifestos which are made in regional bodies are normally done by consultants. They don't consult the people. They don't do it through secretariat themselves, like this one you have done with Google. You are, you are on secretariat. This is something which uh, people who are not committed would just like to do for cosmetic reasons because they want to win elections. They would just hire somebody who calls themselves uh, who call themselves experts. You pay them some money, and then they produce a beautiful manifest with very very colourful covers, which are not meant to be written at all, just for winning elections. But yours is meant to win elections, and I'm sure you, after this manifesto, you should now draw something out of this manifesto, and I will be involved. I want to be involved at that stage of making Sierra County development plans, which we shall be rolling annually. I was involved in what was called the District Focus for Rural Development. I was in charge of uh, Coast Province. I was also in charge of Western Province. We used to produce very beautiful plants. Very beautiful plants. But with no, no structures to implement them. The national government, which was supposed to implement them, had no intention whatsoever of implementing them. So we worked very hard. But there was nothing. But now that you are one of the of devolution. And devolution has come as a structure to implement development project. I'm very sure that projects which are identified by the people from the grassroots coming to your table and driven or, or derived from your own manifesto will see the light of the day and people of CIA will enjoy the food. I I don't I said Bali has already said quite a lot and uh, I don't want to add much more to what he has said. Uh, I just want to maybe uh, say one small thing in the Kijelu.
And I want to say here and now that I'm particularly impressed with point number four, provision of quality education and training. I want to say here that teachers are in schools and schools by and large are extensions of the community. I would wish to call upon all the teachers in Sea County. Can we use this opportunity of being teachers in those schools and campaign for ODM and it is six days? I said this earlier and I want to repeat that Baba's manifesto has actually laid a lot of emphasis on education and especially employment of more teachers in this department. Tying this with your Excellency uh, uh, John Bob Orengo, James Bob Orengo, on point number four, I think as teachers we are home and dry. Kupet, Kenya National Union of Teachers, I want to give this as a directive. All teachers in Ziaya should campaign for this very good team. By and large, when I speak, Your Excellency, all teachers, public and spoken, have about Ziaya. Thank you so much and may God bless you all.
very, very practical. It is time bound. It is also achievable. It is possible to achieve what is here. And thank you very much that you have considered the very fact that you want a clean government and you want accountability and equality. It's just wonderful and I'm at a loss of words and CIA is going to be great and greater and greater in this country. Congratulations and God bless you. Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. God bless you all.